So, good morning, California. Right here, another video. The uh, core man uh, saying hello to uh, all the J series uh, freaks. JV620 California, right here. Uh, working with a customer car, doing the slave cylinder replacement, master cylinder and slave cylinder. And I want to talk about this video because I know there's a lot of questions about how to do it. Uh, what is the easier way to do it? In this case, the customer, he brought, he, he bought the, oops, he bought the P2R line. And I think it's an excellent upgrade. And for a future, uh, install another, uh, slave just in case uh uh the old one get damaged because it's really it's really easy cool, really easy and really practical to uh install it because the, the way it is is the is the um uh, braider a uh, braider hose so now let's talk about how to take out the slave and put back the slave I'm not going to put the video doing it, but I'm going to tell you guys the easiest way I found to do it. And I think it is, is really good. Just you can uh, make a comment and bring your ideas. I just let you know, you know, how I do it. And uh, let's 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 start. OK, first thing. You're going to lose this hose right here. This hose right here, this hose, this is the hose. It connects the slave cylinder all the way, all the way to the transmission right here. We got already a new one installed. You're gonna lose that, be careful. Put W40, put W40 on the, on the nut. Let it, let it rest for a little bit just to get lubricated. Just be careful, don't damage uh, the, 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 the nut, the screw nut. It's really, really deli deli delicate. And if you mess it up, it's going to pass a lot ahead of trying to take it out. Okay, after you lose that, you can take out the line from here. In this case, I take out the whole line because he, he bring the, the braider line from T2R. That will be perfect. Okay, so this is the part. After you take out the line from that for that uh, bracket, you're going inside the car. Inside the car. This car is an Acura TL Type S 2008, 2007. Basically, it's the same for a core for basically all J Series second generation. Right here. Okay. You take out the two bolts, the pin right here, this pin, the clip. You take out that and then you're going to take out the slave, the master cylinder with, with the line in. Don't try to take out the line to take out the slate, the master cylinder. It's, it's almost impossible to make it like that. Okay, just you know, take out from there with the in, with the line on it. Yeah, you know, you can bend the line a little bit. You can fold it. You can you know you can play with it. And, you know, it's going to be really easy. Right here, we got the slave cylinder out with the whole line right here. And we have the master cylinder. The master cylinder. Remember, you need to remove this part. You need to remove it. This part came right here with, with that uh, um, pins. You just remove it from the old part 
and then you got the new one right here and then you go and install it like this like here it goes right right there okay right there right there then you use these two pins these two pins for hold that uh, be careful sometimes it's like a u pin in this case it's only two pins that doesn't matter just you know make sure you put it back and in in the second video i'm gonna show you guys how to install it the master cylinder with the braided hose from p2r right here it's gonna be more easy because this hose is braided so it bends really easy it, you know got more movement yeah but i just want to talk to you about this because a lot of people know i know a lot of people is asking how to do it it's really difficult it's not difficult you just have to be smart and don't work hard <laughs> Okay, see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. J-Series all the time. Thank you. God bless you all.